Hi, I'm Wire. Welcome to Wireworks. Now here we have a NRI 34 signal tracer. Uh, I got this off of eBay for I think like 10 or 11 dollars. I got a good deal on it. And as you can see, I did wipe it off a bit. It was really, really filthy. It really isn't in good condition. As you can see, the cabinet is all rusted. So what we're going to do is try to restore this or refurbish it and get it working again. So what we'll do uh, is we'll plug it in and see what's going on with it. Now these tend to, um, other than it being a signal tracer, it, it's kind of like a radio too. Um, you plug it in and you can hook it up to an antenna and it'll receive uh, AM broadcast. So we can do that. Uh, let me just uh, wipe it down a little bit and uh, we'll plug it in and see if we can uh, pick up anything. And uh, let, me, uh, let, me let me just clean it up a bit and we'll see what it does. Okay, I cleaned this up a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit better than it was before. Um, I like to use um, Armor All products on my radio. Seems like it cleans it up a little bit. I use a little, uh, I guess, tire polish on this from Armor All. What I'll do is I'll clean it up. Once I get it apart, I'll, I'll clean it up real good and probably wax the front of this um, using bowling alley wax. It seems to work real well on all. Uh, some of this vintage equipment. Anyway, I've got it plugged into uh, isolation transformer, and I got it hooked up to uh, antennas because um, these are these are radios. They will pick up radio signals. Other than that, it's a signal tracer, and you can also uh, use it as a, an RF generator um, to uh, insert uh, signals on radios as well. Um, I, I've got the manual to this. I got to read up on it a little bit more. It does have a, a electronic magic eye, so I don't know what that function does. So uh, more and more I get into it, uh, um, we'll find out how this thing really operates. But right now, I just want to see if it fires up and if it picks up radio signals. So let's turn that on. Switches in the RF mode. I have it on B, which is. Um, the lower end of the AM uh, radio band. So uh, let's turn this on and see if we pick up anything. I am going to turn my LEDs off because it seems like that creates a lot of static on these AM sets. Well, the green light is lighting up. The magic eye is lighting up. Doesn't seem like it's balanced right. I'll get in there and fix all of that. A little scratchiness in it, in, in these pots. hearing anything. Well, I do hear some scratchiness in, in it. So it is working. I have the ground hooked up.
inspiration and comfort for you each week. There you go. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but I am picking up a radio station. It's made a little, need a little bit of work on it. I guess the audio output section of this is a little low. I'm gonna, once we get into this, we'll, uh, we'll see what needs to be replaced and uh, see if we can get this all uh, output a little bit better. And we'll do some tests on it. Uh, I've seen this uh, only one uh, other video on YouTube about this, and uh, seems like it's got like 15 to 20 caps in it. I'm not getting any hum or anything, but uh, maybe some of the tubes are, are weak, but we'll see. see if we... I don't know if you can hear this, but I am getting quite a few radio stations in. I think that's about the strongest station we have here. I do live in the Baltimore uh, uh, vicinity. We don't have too many AM stations here, but we do have a few. We do have one station that... Um, it does play popular music. Um, it's uh, it's around uh, between 1300 and 1400. I'm not sure what the the actual station is, but I do listen to that station a lot. Well, anyway, let's uh, let me turn this off and um, we'll open it up and see what has to be fixed or what has to be tested, and uh, we'll see what the inside looks like. Uh, so we'll saw catch you on the other side of this. Okay, um, well, we're back to this um, NRI uh, signal tracer. What I'm going to do is um, open it up and see what we have on the inside and, um, and uh, see if it's true if this thing's got a like 15 or 20 capacitor. That's what I heard. I don't know. I haven't had this open yet. We did have it play for a little bit. So uh, let me grab a screwdriver real quick and um, let's take this thing apart. I see we got screws that are mixed up in here. There's a lot of screws missing. Let me try. There we go, a Phillips screwdriver. And we'll go from here. I haven't tested the uh, tubes on here yet. At least I don't think it, I have. It's been a while since I've been on this. Uh, I know to you guys it's only a minute or two, but it's been like three weeks since I uh, first started on this video for this particular uh, radio uh, signal tracer. And I knew I had a full screwdriver here somewhere. Let's get this off. One of the things I do have to do is definitely um, seeing this cabinet down and repaint it. I'm not going to go out of my way on matching the color of the cabinet. I have some flat black paint that uh, I'll probably paint it black. And I am going to clean this up. Uh, clean this front a little better. It's not as bad as it was when I first got it. So let's pull this out and see what's going on. Unfortunately, uh, I will have to um, cut the plug out of this thing. It goes right through. There we go. Here we go. And 
we'll put a new cord on it as well. Let's see if I can get this all the way out. Actually, I think we're just going to cut the cord right now. It's just too much in the way. I work on this cabinet outside. It's pretty nice outside today, so. As you see, that was a cabinet. It's a little shoddy on the outside, but I, I think I can get this uh, fixed pretty well. Fortunately, the um, the feet unscrew, so I can clean them up on my uh, on my um, on my drill. I'll use a wire brush on it. All right, let's see what's going on with this. I don't care for the way this these leads are. I think I may just uh, put B, BNC connectors on them. I have to see what's involved with all that. Here's the tube lay. It looks pretty clean on the inside. And like I said before, when I had it running, it didn't have uh, um, it didn't have any hum in it. So I'm, I'm pretty sure the filter capacitor is pretty good. But we'll see after we get everything changed in this thing. Okay. Uh, see, it looks like it needs some. Uh, some resistors as well. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 17 uh, capacitors we're definitely going to have to change so what I want to do is probably get right to it um, and clean up some of these uh, knobs and everything I, I, I don't know I'm going to test all these resistors I may even um, change all the resistors not that many in here so I don't think it would hurt by changing them all and we'll see what we have to do anyway let me um take this a little bit more apart and um, and I'll change all the circuitry in it or replace all the circuitry in it and uh, we'll see what happens um, we'll fire the unit up and see see what the deal is after that anyway I'll see you all when I get this done um, and we'll fire it back up Uh, hello everybody, we're back uh, I'm back on this project here. It's been about three months since I uh, worked on this. I know it's only about three seconds for you guys. I um, abandoned this at, at the uh, sort of like the beginning of the summer and uh, now it's starting to cool down. I'm not riding my Harley as much as I uh, was back in the summertime. Um, but let's get back on this and let's uh, um, get back on all the progress we've made so far. I uh, replaced all the capacitors in this thing, um, tested all the tubes, all the tubes tested really good. Um, I only replaced uh, two resistors, Every, everything else, all the other resistors were in tolerance, so um, I probably won't change any of them, we'll see if, uh, if we fire this up and we have any issues with it. Uh, here's all the capacitors that we took out of it. And it was um, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen capacitors, like I stated earlier. Um, it um, it was really, really kind of tough getting some of these capacitors in because I had to take all of this off, had to take the front off, and. Um, pretty much will have everything hanging just to replace the capacitors. So let's plug this in and let's see where we're at and uh, we'll go from there. And I did uh, repaint the cabinet so we'll see how we'll see how that is. I still don't like these here. I'm, 
I am going to go with uh, B BNC connectors on here because these just seem to be in the damn way. I'm just not going to mess with them anymore. So let me hook an antenna up here real quick. All right. Took me about two hours to get all these capacitors in. It was really that's off on. Let's see what's going on here. Let me turn this around a little bit so you can see it. Turn this off. Well, it gets static. Let's turn that off. But it's not rolling in Palestine. God bless you, sir. Thank you for your time. There's no hum in it, so I'm pretty sure the filter capacitor is okay. I'm not going to do anything with that. So it's a little bit better than it was before. As far as uh, sensitivity and reception. Well, all the frequencies are, all the stations are coming in on the right frequency. So it seems to be working really well. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to get rid of these, put BNC connectors in here and just put a regular ground in here so we can just hook wires up to this thing. Um, I, just don't, I just don't care for the way this setup is. So let me get those BNC connectors in here and uh, we'll uh, put it back in the case and get it all buttoned up and we'll do a, a final test on this after we're all done. So I'll be right back after I get this taken care of. Okay, we have this all done now. Uh, I painted the, the cabinet to this. It's kind of like a OD green, gray kind of. It looks a whole lot better than it did before. And that's for sure. Okay, now I've got this antenna hooked up to this. And uh, let's see what happens. I did try it a little earlier. and seemed to work okay. Getting a little hum in it now that the gain is a little bit higher. Came forward with allegations about her husband. Now that one is answered. Well, she had to Seems to fire up a little bit faster. Party, so as to preserve her chance to run. But in, in, in Obama's case, look, this is the thing, folks. Because Al here is exactly right. Everybody knew. Seems to be pulling in a lot more. What are you frowning? You don't think Obama knew? Audio than I had before. Well, stop it. Well, stop it but I did change Everybody these um, this, we know. I mean, this, this is, these this cables is to BNC connectors, so Everybody I might be getting knows. a little hum from outside AC. M but it does seem to be working pretty good. A lot better than it did before. I don't know if he actually would have said hands off this one. But clearly, potentiator, the attenuator seems to be working a lot better Look. than it did before. Smokey's famous. Good for you guys. Well done. So it. So this is working real good now, so what I'm going to do next is probably a radio and we'll see how this uh, injects a signal uh, on a radio. We'll get the, um, see if the signal uh, tracer into this will work. Anyway, thanks for watching and um, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and look out for some uh, more videos in the near future. Once again, thanks again. Have a good one.